From palatial mansions to a car collection that boasts of only the most luxurious rides, this family in the Middle East is the epitome of luxury. Join me as I give you a peek inside the life of Oman's richest family. Just like me, I bet you would be amazed by the extravagance and opulence that awaits you in this exclusive tour. Family Background The Middle East is known for its long list of billionaires, and almost every day on the streets of the region is a show of affluence. Even with a lot of wealthy people, there are levels to wealth, and the Oman royal family tops the list when it comes to the richest family in the country. Oman, a country located in Western Asia with a population of 5,492,196, is ranked the 120th most populous country in the world. Still, very few people know that this country that shares borders with the UAE and Saudi Arabia is an absolute monarchy and is ruled by a line of sultans. While they may not be as famous as the British royal family, the Oman royal family, headed by Haytham bin Tariq, is one of the richest and most powerful in the world. The Sultan of the Sultanate of Oman, Haytham bin Tariq, is a member of the Busaid dynasty, which has been the ruling family of Oman since the mid-18th century. The Busaid dynasty, also known as the Al Said dynasty, was founded by Ahmed bin Said al Busaidi, who was elected imam in 1744, and was a widely supported leader who many believed freed Oman from the shackles of foreigners. Although the family isn't without its struggle in the fight for power, they somehow managed to ensure that they remain in the ruling house for as long as possible. Qabus bin Said, who ruled from January 23, 1970 to January 10, 2020, had no children, nor did he have any male siblings, as he had just a sister, named Saida Umaima. In this case, he was expected to pick a successor from the three sons of his late uncle, Said Tariq bin Taimur, Oman's first prime minister. These three sons were Shihab bin Tariq, a retired commander of the Royal Navy of Oman, Haytham bin Tariq, Oman's minister of heritage and national culture, and Asaad bin Tariq, Oman's deputy prime minister for international relations and cooperation, and also the Sultan's special representative. According to Article 6 of Oman's constitution, the Royal Family Council has only three days to choose a new sultan once the ruling seat becomes vacant. If the three days pass with the royal family council producing a sultan, a letter from the former sultan, bearing the name of his successor, was to be opened. In the presence of the Supreme Court chiefs, heads of the upper and lower houses of the consultative assemblies, and the defense council of the military and security officials. On January 11, 2020, the royal family council announced that they had opened the letter by Kabus in his will, and that the previous sultan had chosen Haytham bin Tariq as as his successor and the country's ruling sultan. Haytham, aged 68, and the current sultan of the Sultanate of Oman has two sons and daughters. He is an Oxford graduate and a veteran diplomat who served as the director general of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. He is pretty popular, especially on the international scene, as he has to meet with several world leaders on behalf of the country. The Sultan of Oman has several honors to his name, including a recognition from Bahrain, which is Member Exceptional Class of the Order of Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa. Other honors include Honorary Knight Grand Cross of the Royal Victorian Order, Honorary Knight Grand Cross of the Order of St. Michael and St. George, Grand Cordon of the Supreme Order of the Renaissance, and Sword of the Founder, Sheikh Jassim bin Mohammed bin Tani, among others. On January 11, 2021, the Sultan officially changed the Basic Law of State, which included the creation of the post of Crown Prince of Oman, and as expected, he appointed his first son, Thayazin bin Haytham as the first crown prince of the sultanate, as his successor. With such a rich heritage, it is little wonder why the Oman royal family tops the list in terms of wealth and authority. Properties Although Haytham bin Tariq openly declared his net worth, stating that he was worth $1 billion, just a sneak peek of the royal family's lavish lifestyle tells you that this is the sultan just being humble. First, the royal family has several palaces and mansions that I can only describe as heaven on Earth, and the one that stands out is the famous Al Alam Palace. The Al Alam Palace, which means Palace of the Flag, is one of the six residences of the Sultan, located in Old Muscat, Oman. With a long history spanning over 300 years, this palace was built under the watch of Imam Sultan bin Ahmed, who is Haytham's seventh direct great-grandfather. It was later used as a ceremonial palace by 
Sultan Qaboos bin Al Said till it was rebuilt as a royal residence in 1972. At first glance, you can tell that the Al Alam Palace is a magnificent work of art that reflects Islamic architecture with a facade of stunning gold and blue that is even more impressive when viewed at night. This stunning palace looks like it is straight out of a fairy tale, as it is very elegant. Even though its designs are not in any way ostentatious, there are several highly polished marble surfaces. Most buildings are painted white, with crenellated rooftops and wooden balconies, fashioned in the traditional Omani style. The palace has large expanses of walled gardens, a sprawling pool, and even a spa. It is surrounded by the Al Jalali and the Marani forts, built in the 16th century by the Portuguese. Although the inner grounds of the palace are entirely off-limits, tourists and other members of the public are allowed close to the gates where they can take pictures. The palace is used mainly for official ceremonies and to receive distinguished guests. The Sultan of Oman also has five other gigantic castles, one of which includes the Sib Palace. Also known as Beit al-Baraka, this palace is located in Sib, near Muscat, Oman. It is one of the five official residences of the Sultan of Oman and is also home to the Royal Oman Symphony Orchestra, established in 1985. There are also reports that the Oman royal family owns a mansion in the home counties, located in the English countryside, that reportedly costs tens of millions of pounds. Known as the Wonham Manor, this mansion is complete with an 800-meter-long lake, along with deer fields. This exclusive property is located in the Surrey village of Betchworth, near Regat. Aircraft a look inside the life of Oman's richest family also reveals that the royal family has a great fleet of the best aircraft. First, this family has a VIP air transport organization called the Royal Flight of Oman. It is a non-military organization and a part of the Dewan of Royal Court Affairs. However, it isn't a part of the Royal Guard of Oman. The RFO was founded in 1974 and gradually expanded to include some of the most expensive aircraft in the world. It has two bases, a permanent operating base located at the Muscat International Airport with a separate and secure VIP terminal and hangar area. The second base is located at the Salalah International Airport with its own separate and secured VIP terminal. However, the Royal Flight of Oman also uses other regional airports when necessary. You can only imagine the caliber of aircraft this VIP transport organization contains to have two bases. First, the Oman royal family owns a VIP Boeing 747SP, a wide-body airliner designed for long-range traveling. The Boeing 747SP is 184 feet 9 inches in length and can easily fly 276 passengers in three classes, going over 5,830 nautical miles. And this VIP private jet costs a whopping $24 million. The family owns a Boeing 747-400 with a computerized glass cockpit and an impressive interior with aesthetic cabin sidewalls, heat-resistant phenolic glass, and carbon composite paneling. There is also an ultra in-flight entertainment framework called the Advanced Cabin Entertainment Slash Service System. There are intercabin telephones, an eight-bunk overhead crew rest, and a second crew rest area for the flight crew. Other aircraft in the RFO fleet include a Boeing 747-8, an Airbus A319, and an Airbus A320 with advanced turbofan engines that allow the A320 family aircraft to benefit from 20% fuel burn reduction. This aircraft can conveniently carry up to 206 passengers and fly routes up to 4,000 nautical miles. The interior of this aircraft is impressive and includes iconic ceiling lighting, new sidewall panels, redesigned window bezels, and a spacious laboratory design. It also has large overhead storage bins that can hold eight pieces of luggage with enough space for carry-ons. There's also the famous Gulfstream G550 with an impressive cabin that is designed for only the rich. There's also the Lockheed Martin C-130J Super Hercules. The fleet also also includes the VIP passenger helicopter Eurocopter EC-225 Super Puma 2, dubbed the most expensive helicopter in the world. It is a customizable twin-engine aircraft that can conveniently hold up to 24 passengers, including two crew members and a cabin attendant. The Super Puma 2 has a fast cruise speed of 278 kilometers per hour, making it a pretty solid aircraft. And this isn't surprising, considering that it costs a staggering $27 million. The Royal 
Royal Fleet also includes the Eurocopter AS550 Fennec Transport, a lightweight military helicopter first introduced by the French helicopter manufacturer known as Aerospatiale. However, it is now known as an Airbus helicopter. The AS550 Fennec measures 10.93 meters long and has a rotor diameter of 10.69 meters. This military-grade helicopter has a takeoff weight of 2,250 kilograms and is powered by a Turbo Mecha Aerial 2C2 engine. It can conveniently carry up to six passengers alongside the pilot. It has a maximum speed of 246 kilometers per hour and a range of 648 kilometers. An impressive addition, this helicopter reportedly costs $2.6 million, which is reasonable considering that it is an agile helicopter that can be used for various purposes, including combat as well as search and rescue. Super Yachts If you thought the fleet of aircraft owned by the Oman royal family was pretty impressive, wait till you discover that they also have a fleet of yachts. The Oman Royal Yacht Squadron is the royal family's luxury sea-going VIP transport service and is also a part of the Dewan of Royal Court Affairs. It is comprised of the royal family's fleet of pleasure crafts, including the famous Al Said and Fulk Al Salama yachts. The Oman Royal Yacht Squadron is independent of the Royal Navy of Oman and the Royal Guard of Oman, and the squadron has a personnel strength of 150. Like the RFO, the Oman Royal Yacht Squadron has two permanent operating bases and an enviable fleet of luxury vessels. First is the Al Said, a luxury yacht built by Lursen in 2006, with the code name Project Sunflower. It was launched by the Lursen Shipyard in 2007 and was dubbed the world's second longest yacht. This luxury yacht cost a massive $600 million, and its exterior styling was done by Espen Oino, while Whiteley Dixon did the interior design. Al Said is gigantic, with a length of 155 meters and a beam of 24 meters. Powered by two MTU engines, this yacht can move at a maximum speed of 25 knots and a cruising speed of 14.5 knots. The Al Said is so large that it can accommodate up to 70 guests in 26 spacious cabins and a professional crew of 174 members. It also has a concert room that can comfortably hold a 50-piece orchestra, a cinema, and even a medical room, along with other luxury amenities that make the floating vessel a worthy means of transportation for the royal family. In fact, the Al Said is such a luxurious vessel that it costs between 50 to 60 million dollars to run and maintain this yacht annually. Another impressive superyacht in the royal family's fleet is the majestic Folk Al Salama, meaning Ship of Peace. The Folk Al Salama was built by Mariotti Yachts, with the project codename Saffron, and was the second largest yacht in the world. As of last year, it is propelled by a diesel electric engine, producing up to 36,708 horsepower. It measures 164 meters in length and has a beam of 24 meters and a draft of 9.3 meters. Although the Folk Al Salama is regarded as a secondary royal yacht and a support vessel, this yacht costs $500 million. It has a running cost of $50 million annually, which qualifies it as a luxury yacht. There's also the Al Dafera, which was formerly known as Folk Al Salama before it was replaced, and it is an amphibious transport ship built by Bremer Vulcan in Germany and launched in 1987. This motor yacht has an overall length of 136.33 meters, a beam of 21.04 meters, and a volume of 10,797 GT, and a draft of 6 meters. Its magnificent exterior is designed by Bernus Corlett, 3Ks Limited, and has the typical steel hull and steel superstructure that most of the yachts in the Royal Fleet have. It has a top speed of 19 knots and is the largest yacht built by Bremer Vulcan, which of course is only worthy of the royal family. With such a magnificent structure, this yacht offers the ultimate luxury in terms of appearance, amenities, and even performance. This masterpiece sails alongside the royal yacht, as well as the Zenat Al Bihar, the largest sailing yacht, and Al Nures, an ocean-going tug and fire tender vessel, powered by two Caterpillar Inc. engines with a steel hull and superstructure. It is reportedly the largest yacht built by K. Damon, and it ranks 4,071st on the world rankings for largest yachts. Other smaller vessels in the Oman Royal Yacht Squadron include the Almuri, a luxury short-haul coaster cruiser, and Shafak Al-Fajar, a luxury short-haul 27-meter sports yacht produced by Sunseeker. Cars From Mercedes-Benz to Ferraris and Lamborghinis, the car collection of the Oman Royal family uh, significantly tells it all. This family 
has loads of money. First, the family owns several Mercedes-Benz cars, including the Maybach S600, a luxury car with an innovative and exquisite design for comfort. It features an impressive MBUX multimedia system, inviting seat variants made with the most exquisite materials and integrated high-resolution screens and ambient lighting. This luxury ride easily stands out for its chromed radiator grille, with its vertical struts and distinctive rear assembly that comes with a fluently tapered C-pillar and split tail lamps. The Maybach S600 costs over $100,000, but that is not all. The Oman royal family also owns a Mercedes-Benz E-Class limousine with its six doors that can comfortably carry eight passengers, making it the perfect ride for a group. And the Sultan indeed does move in groups. This car also goes for over $100,000. There's also the famous Rolls-Royce Silver Shadow, a vintage car that sits pretty at a price of $27,000. And there's the Range Rover Classic, another impressive vintage ride that costs between $54,000 and $74,000. According to reports, the Oman royal family also owns a Koenigsegg Agera R, famous for its perfect power-to-weight ratio and is one of the best hypercars in the world. The Koenigsegg Agera R debuted in 2011, and it can be said to have achieved the goal of its producers to make a car with the best possible performance. This hypercar can go 0 to 100 kilometers per hour, which is about 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 2.8 seconds. It is powered by a robust 5-liter twin-turbocharged V8 engine with 32 valves, with 4 valves per cylinder, all backed with the latest DOHC mechanism. The Koenigsegg Agera R produces an impressive output of 1,140 horsepower and 885 pound-feet of torque at 4,100 RPM. The rear wheels of this supercar are powered by an automatic 7-speed dual-clutch transmission, and it also features a near-perfect weight distribution of 44% in the front and 56% in the rear. It also features a unique traction control system, LED lighting, blue hood stripes, and a custom interior that distinguishes the car from other rides. Other cars in the Royal Fleet include several Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Beamers, and even Aston Martins. The Oman Royal family sure knows how to select the best automobiles, and with good reason. Not only do these cars signify their status and wealth, but also provide the utmost comfort and convenience to enhance the traveling experience. Besides, suppose the royal family ever decides to sell any of their luxurious rides, in that case I bet they can always recoup a higher percentage of the original amount spent on its purchase, which I think is a pretty smart move. Horse says, The Oman royal family also has a vast stable of Arabian thoroughbred horses. The former Sultan Qaboos bin Said had a deep love for horses and founded the Royal Cavalry of Oman in 1974. At first, the cavalry started with just 20 horses, but now has over 1,000 Arabian horses. The Arabian thoroughbred is the oldest horse breed in the world, and its pedigree can be traced back to the desert breeding of the Bedouins in the Arabian Peninsula. The Arabian thoroughbred is known for its small head and large eyes and nostrils, as well as a broad forehead, slim arched neck, smooth hindquarters, and a high tail. They are also known for their strong feet and bones, and impressive endurance. Most Arabian horses have gray, chestnut, bay, or black haircoats, although some could have Sabino genes. Although they are relatively small in height, since they measure between 140 and 156 centimeters, they are powerful horses and are considered one of the most beautiful horse breeds in the world. The Oman royal family has 1,000 of these horses and has what is reportedly the largest mounted army in the modern world. These horses are housed in massive stables, and to ensure their pedigree isn't tainted, their breeding is subsidized by the state. However, even lower classes are allowed to breed these Arabian horses. The Royal Cavalry oversees all matters regarding the horses, including racing, show jumping, polo, breeding, and ceremonial appearances. In fact, the houses of the Oman royal family are so recognized that they are the United Kingdom's leading advocates for Arabian horse racing. They even organized the Sultanate of Oman Day in the UK, where they dress in Arabian regalia, set up traditional Arabic tents, and offer Arabian delicacy in a bid to educate racegoers about Oman and its culture. Companies and Businesses
I'm sure you are anxious to know how the Oman royal family makes the money they spend on the finest things in life. Well, the Oman royal family owns several companies and businesses, all of which are under the Sabco Group, headed by members of the royal family. Saeed Khalid bin Hamed al Busaidi, who is the chairman, and Saeed Ayman bin Hamed al Busaidi, as vice chairman. There are 22 subsidiaries under this business group, and one of them is the famous House of Amwaj, a luxury perfume company that caters to only the rich. The family owning a luxury perfume company isn't surprising, considering Oman is known for producing frankincense. House of Amwaj is a high perfumery house founded in the Sultanate of Oman in 1893. It was designed as the gifts of kings and incorporated the Arabian art of perfumery, which makes the brand a go-to for finely crafted perfumes. Amwaj is well known for its sophisticated signature scents, making it a favorite among many who love Arabian scents. It is comprised of world-recognized perfumers, in Grasse, New York, Geneva, and Paris. Some of the masterpieces in the Amouage collection include Epic, Dia, Honor, Gold, Reflection, and Jubilation, among others. Amouage in recent times has also expanded to include luxury baths, homes, and leather goods. The House of Amouage has 21 standalone boutiques and can also be found in approximately 1,000 of the world's finest department stores, perfumeries, and airports outside of Oman. A bottle of Amouage costs around $360. $60 and above. There's also Sabco Media, Oman's multi-platform media company, which includes brands like Al Weissel, Oman's number one Arabic FM station, Merge FM, and Outdoor Media, Oman's largest out-of-home media company with static and digital assets spread across the Sultanate. The media outlet is recognized for contributing to the country's commercial, economic, and social development, ensuring the latest international products and services get into Oman. Outdoor Media owns and operates different media structures nationwide wide and has exclusive media rights at the Oman oil petrol stations, outdoor digital screens at Muscat University, Ship Mall Gubra, and Farhan Tower, opposite the Mall of Oman. Sabco Media also controls and operates Virgin Radio Oman. Other subsidiaries include Horizon Technologies and Family Investment Office, among others. The Oman royal family also owns several oil companies and controls Oman Aviation Group to a large extent. Achievement The Oman royal family isn't just known for their their luxury lifestyle. They are also well known for financing the construction and maintenance of several mosques in the country, especially the Sultan Qaboos Grand Mosque, and that is not all. They have also aided the construction and maintenance of holy places of other religions in the country. The family is also in charge of the Sultan Qaboos Prize for Environmental Preservation, which was funded as part of a donation to UNESCO in the early 1990s. This prize is awarded biannually and is given as recognition for outstanding contributions to the management or preservation of the environment. Overall, the Oman royal family may be relatively unknown, but they make power moves that qualify them as one of the wealthiest royals in the world, and I'm sure you agree too. From all you've seen in this video, you'd agree with me that some people live a life of paradise on Earth. From the sleekest rides to the most expensive yachts, a peek inside the life of Oman's richest family shows you that this family has got it all. If you enjoyed this video, click on the next card to learn more about the luxurious lifestyle of some of the wealthiest people in the world. I'll be waiting for you.